Yeah, I'm not liking the maze. But to be honest, the maze is pretty bad. Oh, What is up everyone, welcome back to the channel, Games and Chill. Today we have our first playthrough on the channel, and it is called Fahrenheit Indigo Prophecy. Now I heard this game was sort of like a mystery horror game, so hopefully it is interesting, you know, hopefully I was told correct. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do here is I'm going to check the... Uh, options to make sure everything is good, languages, um, I'm gonna put the subtitles on for now, but, uh, I might change that depending on, you know, how the language goes in this game, um, the login screen, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to create a save file, Whoops, sorry about that. We're going to go ahead and call that GNC. Uh, Detective, do you want to configure it? No. Oh, well. Okay, so apparently I can't create an account while the game is in full screen mode it'll crash every time so I went ahead and created my account off camera so that everything will be saved my controller will be saved um I don't believe I need a tutorial for this I'm familiar with uh, Heavy Rain and Detroit Become Human which is one of my favorite games of this genre so let's go ahead and jump into this and See how this game is. Quantic Dream. <clears throat> All right, so, so we're going to start with a. Things are never quite what they seem. We think we understand the world around us, but. We really only see the outside, what it seems to be. I used to be just like you. I believed in humanity, the newspapers, soap commercials, politics, and history books. But one day, the world kicks you in the teeth, and you don't have any choice but to see things the way they really are. My name is Lucas Kane. My story is the one where an ordinary guy has something extraordinary happen to him. Maybe it was supposed to happen. Maybe it was my destiny or my karma or whatever. I know one thing for sure. Nothing's ever going to be the same again. Interesting. I mean, I always thought the news and the newspapers and stuff were real. So. It all started right here. Where else could it happen? New York, capital of the universe. The chessboard Destiny chose for the last big game. I was just another pawn living my pawn's life. Until that night, when my life descended into chaos. Doc's Diner. <laughs> I 
Well, some people would consider that ominous to have a crow just pull up in the window. Start crowing at you. Okay. Assuming direct control. Hmm. Okay, this is still a scene. It looked like he would hear this guy just. Gotta get out of here but before somebody comes in here. When this icon in the upper right corner is on the screen, your progress is automatically saved on the hard drive. Okay. Oh, I can move now. So, I'm assuming I have to try and. What's going on? Yeah, I probably should have read the tutorial. Uh, oh, okay, the shoulder button. Okay. So, whatever's going on, apparently I committed this crime. So. Knife. I've got to get rid of it. But where? Wait, where did he put the knife? Uh, let's see. I'm covered in blood. I can't go anywhere looking like this. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. Out of order. Well, it's somewhat decent. Okay, I'm still anxious though. So, what exactly is there left to do? Let me see. Hmm. 
definitely similar to the vein of Heavy Rain. Um, okay, a broom, a wind. I could. Can I get out of the window? Let me see. It's barred up. I can't get out this way. Barred up, okay. Um, we might need to shut this door then. Let's see. I'm bleeding. I must have cut my wrist with the knife. Both of my forearms are cut too. What's going on over here? Oh no, the cop is coming. No, don't use the bathroom, you idiot. Okay. Um Yeah, I got no choice. I got to go. I I, can't, I gotta go. I, I can't leave. Oh, this is uh, not good. Is this game over already? Don't move. You are under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you. And that's how my story ends. What? I'll be spending the rest of my days rotting in some prison somewhere. I'll never know exactly what happened to me that cold night in January in the toilet of an East End restaurant. Because as far as everyone else is concerned, I'm just a killer. So, I'm assuming... <sighs> Alright, so... Last time I didn't even get an opportunity to make it out of the bathroom apparently. I got possessed, I killed someone, and just like that, I was dutifully arrested. Alright, so let's try this again. Um, first things first, we need to get this guy in here, these buttons. Put them down, put them down, put them down. Shut the door. Alright. Second thing, I see this broom. Um, we need to clean up. Uh, no, don't put it back. Uh, yes, yes, yes. How he's doing that with no water is beyond me. Wait, is it working? It's not working. It's barred up. I can't get out this way. Well, what am I supposed to do? Because I can't... It, apparently... Maybe I have to do it multiple times? No? Wait, I have to move it? Okay, so I had to use the... Okay, the analog stick, pretty much. Instead of just pressing it once, I had to press it multiple times. And it still didn't clear up the... Okay. Um... Let me clean up. We gotta clean up. Uh. If I can't leave the bathroom, I can only assume I have to hide in one of these stalls. Because, um... No, nah, that makes me use the bathroom, which I don't need to do. Can I run? Okay. Finally. I ain't got anything to say to anybody. I'm just minding my own business. There's nothing to see. Sir. The waitress. She noticed something. I'm done for. 
Nope, I'm out. Sorry. Hey, sir, your bill. Oh, see, why didn't they tell you? Oh, I gotta go. Get out of this neighborhood before the police get here. I'm out. Sorry. I live too far away to walk. I have to find another way to get back home. Are you serious? Taxi. Take me anywhere but here. Let's go. Uh, Brooklyn. Yeah, wherever Brooklyn is, let's, let's go. I see the cop is just now noticing the blood trail. Wait. Who is that guy? Nobody goes anywhere. A crime has just been committed. I'm going to have to ask you to stay calm and wait here for the police to arrive and check your IDs. Wait, I'm a little confused. Everyone that's in the bar or the diner was there when I walked out. So. The only one he should be looking for. Let me Why shut up. Why always wait for me to go on duty before they start killing each other in the middle of the night? Tyler, somebody gets murdered every day in New York. But especially when I'm on night duty. It's as if every psycho in the city has it in for me. If you want to do it inside, that way I don't have to freeze to death listening to it. Well, you're the boss, Carla. Can I have to edit that out? Five years on the force, I've seen some murders, but you never really get used to death. You just learn to live with it, that's all. I still don't know if it was fatigue, or cold, or something else, but I clearly remember the bad feeling I got when I walked into that restaurant, as if some part of me already knew that this time, something was different. Oh, so kind of like Heavy Rain, you get to play both sides. I see some blood on the ground. Let's go. How's it going, McCarthy? Evening, Inspector. I've been waiting for you. Hey, Tyler. Hey, Martin. So, what happened? Homicide. I found the body in the toilets. I had to go before I went home. Um. Hmm. Do we have a suspect? A client left just before I found the body. To top it all, he left without paying. Kate tried to talk to him, then he left. Which table was the suspect sitting at? Oh, he was sitting at that table over there. Is that the waitress over there? Yeah, Kate Morrison. I think that you should interrogate her. If you don't mind me saying, go easy on her, Inspector. She's still in a state of shock. Were there other customers in the restaurant at the time? Yeah, two other guys. I let them go home. I wrote down their names and numbers in case you wanted to question them. Thanks for your help, Martin. It's late. I think you can go home and get some sleep. I'm gonna wait until you're finished with Kate, if you don't mind. I want to make sure she gets home okay. When this symbol appears at the top right of the screen, you can switch characters. Press B any time to switch. All right, wait a minute. Did you find anything, Tyler? <laughs> For that, I'd have to be able to keep my eyes open. Keep up the good work, Tyler. No. Uh, what do you say we call it a night? Come back at this thing tomorrow when our heads are clear. We're not finished, Tyler. We still got some important stuff to see before we can go home. All right. Well, that did absolutely nothing. I was trying to see if this was the food. Oh. So let's find out what's up with you. Kate? 
I'm Inspector Carla Valenti. I'm in charge of the investigation here. Would you mind answering a few questions? No. Go ahead. Um, the suspect. I need to know about the suspect. Can you tell me anything about the customer who left just before they discovered the body? He was just a normal guy. I didn't really pay any attention to him. Did you know about the victim well? John was a regular. He came every Monday. He always ordered the same thing and I left a nice tip. What, about what was the man behavior? doing before the murder happened? He was there for a while. He was reading, I think. Could anyone else have come in? No, I don't think so. You can only get in the front door. If somebody else had come in, I would have seen them. Did you get the impression that John and the suspect knew each other? No, I don't think they did know each other. The man had already been here a while when John came in. They didn't talk to each other. No, I'm, I'm almost certain that John didn't know him. What about a motive? I don't know the victim had any enemies. Anybody that might want to kill him? John was just a nice, normal guy. I can't see why anybody would want to kill him. Uh, did you hear facts? Can you tell me what you saw? There weren't that many people tonight. It's usually pretty calm during the week. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. I didn't even see John get up. Oh my god. Um, I need to know if I'm okay. gonna cast this guy. Try to pull yourself together. You are our main witness, so I'm really gonna need your help. My shift was almost over. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. John got up and went to the restroom. The man must have followed him. When he came back out, I noticed that he hadn't paid his bill. I'm careful, because that happens a lot here, people forgetting to pay their bill. What happened next? The guy just ran off without paying. It wasn't until Martin found John's body that I realized... That you realized what? Did you hear anything while John was in the toilet seat? Sound of oh, a struggle okay. or yelling? No, I didn't notice anything. Um, was the suspect bizarre? Did you happen bizarre? to notice anything strange about the suspect's behavior before he went into the restroom? No. You, wait, yes. I remember something. I came back at one point just to check whether he needed anything. He didn't answer me. He just stared straight ahead. It was weird. I didn't push him. I thought maybe this guy is a little crazy. God. If I had only known. Do you think that you would recognize the suspect? I'll never forget that face. Perfect. Do you think that you could come down to the station tomorrow and help us construct a likeness of the killer? Yeah. I'll do whatever you think I can to help catch him. Thank you very much for your help, Kate. I hope you find the bastard who did it. People like that just don't deserve to live. I promise you, we'll do everything in our power to find him. Go home now and try to get some sleep. Martin will make sure you get home okay. First of all, alleged victim, I mean suspect, murderer, killer, whatever, you didn't actually see me kill anybody, so right now it's just alleged. Secondly, I did seem possessed, so it's a high possibility huh. I was Here's his fork, but where's the knife? cup of coffee and a soft drink? That's weird. He's a caffeine addict, or else he wasn't alone. So she lied to me. Oh, well, the coffee's not on the bill. 
What? A book. The Tempest by Shakespeare. If this is his, it's a pretty weird book for a killer to be reading. Gary, there's a killer. book under this table. Why don't you check it out for Prince? You got it, Carla. Yeah, you have again, you haven't seen any you haven't seen me do wait a minute. The only way No unauthorized entry. Isn't this a never mind. Just never mind. Alright. Alright everyone, that's gonna be it for today. Looks like this is an interesting story so far, going on the side of the paranormal. Unfortunately, I made quite a few mistakes as the suspect, alleged suspect so far. Um, it's going to be interesting to see just how those mistakes impact the detective's investigation. So when I come back, we'll see things from the detective's point of view. And until next time, stay blessed. <laughs>